My client, Lee Harvey Oswald, was slain by a, an assassin's bullet. He was silenced so that he could never tell you the truth. Who represents the United States of America, who represents the CIA and the FBI and, uh, and the Army Intelligence and the Secret Service, who represents this huge plethora of power in this country. Why haven't you even now come forward? and more entertainment, according to Lawford. Along the way, the senator became acquainted with the men who ran Las Vegas, including mob ambassador Johnny Roselli. Family patriarch Joe Kennedy was already well known to the mafia, including Chicago kingpin Sam Giancana, the mob overlord of Las Vegas. JFK had been introduced by Frank Sinatra to Judith Campbell, and they began a two-year affair that later proved an embarrassment. Campbell was simultaneously seeing Sam Giancana, and FBI boss J. Edgar Hoover found out about it. But some Las Vegas residents were upset about a Justice Department crackdown on the mafia. Mob leaders said they had helped get Kennedy elected, and they wanted the feds to back off. FBI wiretaps picked up Giancana and other mob leaders plotting to kill Kennedy. Roselli later testified that the mafia had hired two hitmen to do the job, and a House subcommittee concluded it's 99% likely the mob killed JFK. Becker, among others, believes the seeds of that alleged conspiracy may have been planted here in Las Vegas. You say that SOB, I'll break his back. Who? You. I'll say to who? To anyone. Can you give his speech? I don't even know who I was talking about, and I don't know what you're talking about. Well, uh, Mr. Hoffa, all I'm trying to find out, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'm trying to find out whose back you were going to break. Figure his speech. He was a great enemy of Bobby Kennedy, and Bobby, it, it went beyond politics. They hated each other. You've got people in Detroit, at least 15, who have police a fleet records. You've got Joey Glimco in Chicago. I say you're not tough enough to get rid of these people. Now. Only Jimmy Hoffa can rejoice at his continued good luck. Honest union members and the general public can only regard it as a tragedy. Delano Roosevelt. Excuse me, Chad, here is a flash from the Associated Press, Dateline Dallas. Two priests who were with President Kennedy say he is dead. Call him. <coughs> we don't want another Oswald. And Bobby Kennedy went even further. I mean, he started prosecuting the mob. People right. were very upset. Well, understand, my father is through that whole era, and many of the guys that I knew were through that whole era. So all I ever heard and that I know to be true, okay? And there's no upside in me sa saying this. I, I'm not writing a book about it, nothing. But there's no question that Joe Kennedy was involved with it. He was a bootlegger, okay? No question also, okay, that uh, through his father, uh, John Kennedy was, we wanted him in the White House, and he was a connection as far as we were concerned. So yes, through Chicago, through Louisiana, um, he was, they did help him get elected. The government's never going to want anybody to know this. They're going to call me a liar and all that kind of stuff, but that's the truth, Patrick. And as far as uh, the assassination, I mean, come on. Did Jack Ruby come out of nowhere? I mean, he had all of a sudden these mob ties didn't mean anything. If you had mob ties with me, they would want to say it all over the world. Oh, you're, you're connected with the mob. All of a sudden, Ruby, who was connected with the mob, not as saying he wasn't, you know? They never want it to be known that the mob had a hand in that assassination because it makes them look horrible. The government doesn't want anybody to know that, but I mean, I've heard that consistently throughout my, my whole tenure in that life, all the time. You know, Giancana in Chicago, and, and I have never in my lifetime seen the level of corruption that is going on t today